early access rolled out a new system this week for booking rides and riders say it's not going smoothly. Hello everyone, I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Gerald Owens. Dozens of people have said that they're left without reliable transportation and it's affecting their employment. WRL Shelly Jackson has been looking into these issues for us and joins us live from downtown Raleigh. Shelly, what's behind all of this? Well, all those problems started with the software that was rolled out this week. So the way it works is that the city is contracting with taxi companies to pick up riders. Those riders have to call 24 hours in advance to book a, a ride. But now dozens of blind and disabled folks say they are waiting hours for a ride if it shows up at all. Misha Hyatt has been riding with Go Raleigh for a decade. It's a great service for blind, visually impaired people with disabilities. She's taken her service dog, Waylon, along for the past two years. But Thursday, her driver told her she couldn't bring him in the car. And he said, well, we can't have him go with you because we have, you know, another customer in the car. Hyatt had to leave Waylon at home and go to work. So he makes a big difference in how I get around. She works for a nonprofit that provides career opportunities for the blind and visually impaired. Dozens of her coworkers have also struggled with the new Go Raleigh system. Yesterday, my cab did not show up at all to pick me up after work. We had quite a few associates short, definitely upwards of, you know, 30, 40 associates who did not make it to work on time Monday and throughout, or Tuesday, excuse me, and throughout the week. Brandy says she called dispatch more than a dozen times Tuesday and was on hold for an hour. However, the queue only has room for 24 callers. If you are not in that 24, you ha it'll hang up on you and you'll have to keep calling back. Several complaints have been shared with WRAL. Writers say they can't reach the call center. They are having to book expensive Ubers and are not told who is picking them up. A potential safety issue. We've got some glitches. Michael Moore, Raleigh's assistant city manager of transportation, says the city is aware of the issues. He attributes it to software. When we moved the data over from our old system to the new system, some of the data didn't come. So all of our, all of our customers and riders have a profile that sort of describes some of their needs um, that didn't all move. Moore says they are working the bugs out slowly. We did well over uh, several hundred trips yesterday through the system, uh, as opposed to the first day where we did only maybe about a third of the trips we were able to do through the system. Brandy says the disruption has left her and her colleagues feeling powerless. I just feel like when all of our control is taken away from us, it, it takes away everything that we've strived so hard to get. Now, Moore says the city will reimburse those folks for those Uber rides. He also say, says drivers will be receiving some ADA training. Gerald? We hope they can get this rectified. Shelly Jackson, live in Raleigh. Thank you, Shelly.